Hello everybody, I'm going to be sharing with you the three worst reactions and comments I have ever received when I was wearing a fragrance and the first experience I'm going to share is Vanilla Diorama. So I was testing this out on my arm and I was at lunch with my sister and mind you, I saw a lot of reviews on this fragrance saying that it was supposedly a really sexy unisex spicy vanilla type of scent. So I was really looking forward to trying it and then when I had it on my skin, it smelled kind of like this cola, but a little bit of that antique shop vibe. And then it had this mature sort of smell to it that I just couldn't get past. But I'm like, you know what, let's just see how this develops. Let's see how people around me, what they think about it, right? So I'm eating with my sister and then she stops in the middle of our conversation and she's like, something smells like Ina. And right when I heard that, if you don't know who Ina is, she's my grandmother, right? And I was like, hell no, I cannot. Be smelled. The fact that she said, you know, I was like, I cannot be smelling like this because this fragrance to me, I washed it off after she said that because I was getting that vibe as well. It reminds me of when you're at church and you walk by the row of grandmas, you know, the grandmas that have like the hard candy in their purse that's for some reason warm and cold at the same time, you know, um, that is what this smells like to me. So anybody that you hear saying that, oh, this is really unisex sort of like, I totally disagree with that. Anybody, you can have your opinion about it, but if you're of the younger demographic, I think like a teen, even somebody in your 30s, I don't think that blind buying this fragrance because you think it's going to smell like a spicy vanilla or even a dessert is, I think it's so off the mark. Yeah. Yeah, no, this to me just, I wasn't even really mad hearing that kind of comment because I low-key agree with it. I did agree with that comment. But the next one was my experience with Herod by Parfums de Marly. I wanted to see if this was pound town galore worthy. So I sprayed it on skin and on clothes and I was with my girlfriend and I was go like getting closer to her cause I was gonna give her some smooches and she puts her hand on my like stomach and she just kind of takes a little step back and she's like, I don't like that. And I was like, what, you don't, you don't like the smell of it? And then she gets closer to me to smell it again. And she's like, that smells so bad, right? And I, I'm here I am thinking, okay, maybe it's my skin chemistry. So I ask her what it smells like. And she's like, it smells like Robitussin mixed with a bad batch of Angel Share. Now to me, this does not smell like that at all to my nose. I just get a really leafy burning type of tobacco. It's a very leafy tobacco type of scent to me. Um, and so I took off my sweater and like, you know, I washed it off. I washed it off because she really didn't like it. And she still smelled my sweater and didn't like it. So it wasn't just my skin chemistry. This is just a fragrance she has a huge disliking to. And by the way, when I have worn this around other girls, I will say the reactions are so-so. Like I've gotten the, oh, it's nice. But from what I've seen online, the way that this is perceived on the internet is like, oh, this is a holy grail, like amazing type of fragrance, right? But I think this appeals a little bit more to the masculine nose. I think a lot of the people that enjoy this fragrance are, you know, like more more guys are like, oh yeah, this is really good. But unfortunately with the reactions I've gotten wearing this, it kind of falls flat. And even for me, I've grown to like it, but I don't love it. Like this is not a scent I would get a full size bottle of in my collection, especially if there's things like Carlisle and Layton that will compete for both the uniqueness and the mass appeal. So for me, Herod, not really my favorite. Lastly was, this is recent, this was last night, because if you saw my review of Tango by Mosk Milano, this fragrance for me was an automatic no, right? But after I got done posting it, or I was, I was uh, on my phone like trying to post the video, my sister came in and she was about halfway in my room and she's like, hey, what are you doing? And I was like, I just made this video. And she stops and she kind of squints and she's like, oh yeah, I smell that. And she takes like five steps back and she was like, nah. And I was like, honestly, I agree. Cause this thing was really pushing off my arm. I only did one spray of it and it filled my room. So when it comes to performance and projection, by the way, I got like over eight hours with this scent. Um, but still the smell alone was not something attractive at all to my nose and to her nose. And yes, these are reactions from people that are close to me because 
from what I have observed, it's the people that are closest to you that are going to give you the honest, brutal truth, brutal truth of what they think. You know, a stranger isn't just going to randomly come up to you, like stop what they're doing, go to you and be like, hey, by the way, you smell like shit. You know what I mean? They'll just probably be like, oh, and then walk away. But it's the people that you're close with that are just going to lay it down. And I'm glad that they're, they were very honest to me about it. Two out of the three I agreed with. With Herod, yeah, I don't really like it as much, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's at all like Robitussin and Angel Share. But anyways, I hope, or a bad batch of Angel Share. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.